Hi there and welcome back to the Pilot Aware video channel. In this video we're going to show you how to get the most from your Pilot Aware. We'll be concentrating on the home page, but other videos will show you the other pages, the configuration page and the traffic page. In this video we're going to give you lots of information, but don't worry and think you've got to remember it all. Once you have configured Pilot Aware for your specific application, you may never need to touch it again. If you don't land on the home page, navigate your way using the banner at the top of the page. As you can see here, all pages are accessible from the home page. The first thing you'll notice is the software being run. In this case, the version is 201611111, which means that that's the version that was released on the 11th of November 2016. Next is an indication of when the license expired. Once again, using the same notation, this license will expire on the 13th of August 2017. Now let's have a look at the individual rows and columns. The first row shows your MAC address. This is unique to your Raspberry Pi computer. It is also the number used for your Wi-Fi logon address. The MAC address is also linked to your unique license code. So if you ever change your Raspberry Pi computer, you need to let us know so that we can give you a new code to keep it working. The next row shows which type of computer is being used. This is important as it shows what facilities will be enabled. To enable Mode C, Mode S and Voice Alerts, a Raspberry Pi 2B or later is required. The next row is pretty obvious. It's the date and time. So to ensure that Pilot Aware is working correctly, just check that this is updating. The next row shows the Ethernet IP address. If you don't know what this means, don't worry about it. If you do know what it means, that's what it is. Next up is the Wi-Fi IP address. That's the one you use to log in. Remember, 192.168.1.1. The information on the next row shows the time since the unit was last reset. It also shows the CPU temperature, which is very useful if you're doing a long distance run across the continent and the unit is on the dashboard. The pilot aware unit should work perfectly well with this temperature showing up to 70 degrees centigrade. Next up is the number of navigation devices connected. At the moment, we've got this set to a maximum of four, which should be plenty enough. Here are the number of ADSB messages at 1090 megahertz that are being received. This is followed by the Pilot Aware P3i messages that are being transmitted and received. In normal operation, you'll see a lot more transmitted messages than received. The output from the barometer is next, giving QNH, QNE, and GNSS barometric readings. Row 11 is very important, giving you the GPS information the fix, the type, and the mode. It also tells you how many satellites are being received with a minimum of five being preferred. The next four rows tell you what's connected to each USB socket. You will have noticed that rows seven to 11 in column one are all annotated green. This is used for diagnostic purposes. Five greens is good, but it may not always be this way. Row 11 will be orange if an invalid or better GPS fix is needed. If it's red, there is no GPS fix at all. To improve this, move the GPS so that it can see the sky. It will normally be like this if you're trying to use it indoors. If row 10 is red, this normally indicates a barometer failure. This is very unusual and probably means there's something wrong with the board. So perhaps you'd better get in touch with Pilot Aware support. If column 1, row 9 goes red, then this is a P3i transmission or reception failure. It's very unusual for this to be a board failure and it's more likely to be with a poor GPS reception or a poor power supply. The same goes for row 8 which is for ADS-B reception. However this could also mean that you haven't received any ADS-B signals for a short period of time in which case the unit is still working it's just that there's nothing out there. And finally, when they're all red, this means your license has expired. But you should have had an email from Pilot Aware before this happens. So that's about it for the ins and outs of the homepage. 
we'll be doing other videos on the configuration page and the traffic page, so look out for those. We hope you find these videos useful and informative. If you like them, give us a thumbs up, and we look forward to seeing you back here again at the Pilot Aware YouTube channel.